there we are, <clears throat> tribulation day 52. I'm still here, and the world is still here. And we all continue to spiral downwards. Hope everyone had a super fantastic 4th of July. I did. I had some family over, had a great barbecue, ate a lot of cool food. Um, didn't have to confront anybody. Uh, even though I was thinking about yelling out my window as the fireworks went kind of late into the night, it was kind of like enough already, you know. But, uh, you know, the 4th of July, it's, it's not just about blowing off fireworks. It's, it's really about remembering, you know, what makes America, America. What makes America the greatest country in the world ever. The country that everybody wants to come to. The country that has 20 million illegal Americans. And all 20 million of you better been out there celebrating your 4th of July ass off. Because you know what? If you're sitting there waving some other country's flag on the 4th of July, then what the hell are you doing here? You know, get on the next, you know, truck heading back to wherever it was you came from. But my message you know, with the tribulation in full swing, is that the whole world needs the 4th of July. You know, the whole world needs to declare its independence. You know, all those countries in the Middle East, in Africa, and South America, you know, Europe, doesn't matter where you're at, if you've got some kind of dictator running your country, making life miserable, exerting their power over you, stand up, rise up, shake it off. You know, let freedom ring. You know, that's what that's what the world needs. You know, a global Fourth of July. You know, today the uh, verdict came in in the uh, Casey Anthony trial, and you know, you may say, well, what does that have to do with the tribulation? Well. I think it does, because, you know, there's been a complete perversion of truth, justice, and the American way for that matter, but, you know, it's been heading downhill for decades, you know, from uh, O.J. Simpson getting away with it, to uh, our President Bill Clinton saying, I is not having a relationship, you know, parsing words and yet lying. And, you know, people have continued to lie and lie and lie. Now everybody's lying. And now, you know, Casey Anthony, you know, she was found innocent of everything except lying. Lying to the police about everything. You know, when they asked her, did you uh, kill your daughter? Her answer was no. Oh, I guess that's the one truth she was... No. But see, that's the problem. You know, 2 plus 2 is equaling 5 nowadays. It's not equaling 4 anymore. You know, she should have been found guilty of something. And so that's why, you know, a day is coming. A day of atonement. Because now people are getting away with it all. You know, justice means somebody's got to pay the piper. And you know what? The day's coming. It's part of the tribulation. It's where this is all heading towards. You know, the other big news story on TV is the uh, U.S. economy, you know, teetering on the brink. Stock market's doing good, but who cares? That's not a reflection of anything except greedy people getting, making more money. But uh, as far as the debt and our economy and our money devaluing and inflation, uh, hyperinflation kicking in, it's coming, baby. That de the uh, debt deadline is right there, and you know the Congress and our our great President Obama, they're not going to do a darn thing to solve it. In fact, you know what 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 the rumor is today is Obama's trying to look at some way of saying that he can just use his executive powers and just do whatever the hell he wants, and that's you know pretty much been his whole philosophy since he got in office. You know, I will do what I want. You know, putting his uh, ideas, his opinions, you know, on all of us, you know, like uh, demanding this, that, and the other thing, all in the name of the greater good, but collectively making our lives miserable. And that's why, you know what, Obama's got to go. 2012 won't come around soon enough. 
So I respectfully ask, Mr. President, please resign, step down, do the right thing. Let somebody else step in and fix the problem. Because you know what? If you stay in office, this tribulation is going to go down. You know, the other big thing is in the Middle East, the uh, Freedom Flotilla is out there in the Mediterranean. There's about 10 ships all trying to get their butts to the Gaza Strip. They're all saying it's for humanitarian purposes, but I guarantee you there are other agendas there. And it doesn't bode well. So we got to keep our eye on that in the next week or two. Could see all crap breaking loose. You know, to me, all the storms are coming together at the same time. You know, the economic storm, the uh, political, geopolitical, uh, you know, and World War Three storm, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, America right now, we're in a big old heat wave. You know, it's like the, the weather's either stormy, haily, lightning, tornadoes, hurricanes, or it's a blistering heat wave. Except here in San Jose. You know, we actually had a kick-ass weekend. A little too hot, but pretty darn near perfect. But it's just, it just still seems in extreme odds to the weather we've been having for the last month or so, which has been, you know, kind of abnormal. So anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign on out. It's July 2nd, and the tribulation continues. I'm going to get my confront stuff up on the website, hopefully this week got any questions you can email me here at Facebook or you know tweet Twitter me uh, love to hear from you you know got a couple of subscribers going that's all good you know we're all gonna watch the world go to hell together and I'm gonna you know continue my confrontation program I didn't actually confront anybody over the fourth it'd be a good time you know the fourth would have been a good time but I think with all the fireworks and everything confrontation might have been a little a little tricky <clears throat> you know when people are singing about the rocket's red glare, isn't necessarily the time to get in somebody's face. But think positive. You know, try and help somebody out there. Confront somebody if you got to. Keep the faith. Keep on rocking. Peace.